In this video, we are going to see how to make a ball bearing in a free time. So, first we will draw an outer ring. Then we will draw an inner ring. Then we will draw this spher spherical ball and we will use a feature pattern to duplicate this ball, bear ball of a bearing. So first we will create a outer ring. To create this outer ring we will draw this sketch and we will revolve this sketch along y axis. So let's see how to do this. So we will op open a new file. Here we will select part design. We will create a body. We will create a sketch. We will select XY plane. We will select polyline. We will draw polyline. This three line is vertical. This two line is horizontal. This two line are equal in length. These two line are equal in length. Dimensions of this is 36. Dimension of this is 15. We will draw an arc by three point. These two points are coincide. These two points are coinciding. Dimension of this arc is 13. This point and this point are at a distance of 100. This point and this point are at a distance of 80. And this point lies on this axis. Now our sketch is fully constrained. We will close the sketch. This is our sketch. We will revolve this. Axis of revol revolution will be vertical sketch axis. So we have created the outer ring of a ball bearing. Now we will draw outer ring. To create outer ring, we will draw this sketch and again we will revolve this sketch about y axis. To create outer ring, we will again select create body. We will again select create sketch. Inside sketch, we will select XY plane. We will hide. We will hide this folder part. We will select this body. We will go in view, and we will. We will select polyline.
we have created polyline this three line is vertical this two line is horizontal dimension of this is 36 dimension of this is 15 these two lines are equal in length these two lines are equal in length we will draw arc by three point these two point are coinciding these two points are coinciding dimension of this arc is 13 distance between these two point is 80 distance between these two point is 60 this point lie on this axis now our sketch is fully constrained we will revolve this sketch about y axis this is the sketch created we will revolve this sketch around vertical sketch axis so we have created the outer ring of a bearing now we have created two rings of a bearing now we have to create a spear inside this between these two rings so we will draw this semicircle and we will revolve this about this axis so we will draw one small construction line about which this sketch will be rotated so again we will create a body we will create a sketch We will hide two old parts. So we will select this body. We will go to view. We will toggle visibility. We will select other body. We will go in view. We will toggle this body. Now we will draw arc. We will draw one vertical line. This line is vertical. These two points are coinciding. These two points are coinciding. This point lies on this line. So we have created the semicircle. We will give dimension of this as 13. This horizontal distance between this is 
এটি ভার্টিক্যাল ডিস্টেন্স বিটুইন দিস ইজ থার্টি সিক্স ডিভাইডেড বাই টু সো আওয়ার স্কেচ ইজ ফুললি কনস্টেন্ট নাও উই হ্যাভ টু ড্র অ্যাক্সেস ফর রিভলভিং দিস স্কেচ সো উই উইল ড্র ওয়ান লাইন দিস লাইন ইজ ভার্টিক্যাল দিস টু পয়েন্টস are coinciding this point lies on this axis but this line is just an axis not a part of this sketch so we will convert this line to construction line we have converted this line to construction line thus it is appeared in blue in color so our sketch is fully constrained we will close this sketch this is our semicircle we will revolve this sketch and in axis we will select blue line that is construction line and we will select okay so we have created a sphere now our sketch look like this we have drawn sphere between these two rings we have created one sphere now we have to create nine more sphere so we will use polar pattern first we will select this sphere we will go to draft in draft we will select array in array in array type we will change ortho to polar in axis default axis of revolution is z we will change z to y in number of polar we will change 1 to 10 so we have created nine more ball bearing but it has not appeared because software has not updated the nine more ball bearing now we will go to to unite all this we will go to part in part we will select all this and we will select union so now you can see that some of the ball has appeared and some has not appeared so we will select array we will go in view and we will select toggle view so we now we can see that all the balls of a bearing is appeared so we are done with the design of ball bearing Thank you.